Thank you guys for still being here. I know it's a long day, but it's an exciting day. The last panel was great. My name is Justin D. Jenkins. I'm the managing editor of the Quintessential Gentlemen. <laughs> and we have a great comedy panel with some of your favorite viral sketch comedians. I uh, hope they don't, I don't know why they have me doing it. I am not funny at all. So <laughs> um, I'm going to do my best to get through this. We are excited to welcome some of our talented cast. And we have Ken Stars coming out. <laughs> I guess it will have Melani Cruz coming out. Are you going to do it? You're going to do your move? <laughs> we have Stakes Face coming out. There we go. Nueva Yol coming out. And last but not least, we have 4 3 Giant coming out. There we go. <laughs> Jesus! Thank you guys for coming mic check, and mic check. being here. Everyone, mic check is good. Don't make me laugh, guys, because I laugh continuously. Ken, so. you heard that? No That's, jokes. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes on the comedy panel. Yeah. But again, thank you guys for joining us. How's everyone doing today? We doing Good. great. Chilling. I'm going to speak for everyone. We're doing amazing. Everyone's doing amazing? Yes. Does it feel like I'm Oprah right now? I, f feel, I, feel, I feel like we both Oprah. <laughs> like, we here. Very good. Welcome to our show. There we go. Thank you for coming. It's a little hot. That's what I want to say. A little I feel. hot. But I'm, I'm good, though. You're good, all right. Good. We'll make it through. We'll make it through. Awesome, guys. Thank you. So let's get right into it. Uh, I want to know from everyone, so you guys, we can start from, well, ladies first, always. Um, <laughs> let's talk about your, uh, your first introduction to, like, what comedy is. So what do you mean by that? What I mean is when did you realize that something was funny and what, what made you laugh and what you kind of liked? To what it made you explore what comedy is? Oh, okay. So my first introduction to comedy was my mom and my dad's dynamic. Um, <clears throat> my dad will always make fun of my mom. Like that's why I'm in the relationship really? I am right now. He, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were wow. really good jokes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and um, my mom and my dad had this like really fun dynamic, and that was kind of like my first introduction to comedy. And then being from New York, where you're always flaming somebody for no reason. Uh, not for no reason, but you know, just that natural dynamic that being raised in New York yeah. has. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Safe space. Oh well. Oh, my introduction to comedy. Yeah. You know what? I, I was introduced to comedy from my father. My father was like a big time comedian um, in our country in Belize. And so, um, yeah, I just always was, you know, watching it at home and, you know, and, and always had the tapes like the Eddie Murphy Raw and uh, Martin Lawrence and stuff like that. And so those are my inspirations on, you know, my comedy style. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's how I got introduced to it. Awesome. Yeah. New ever y'all. <laughs> Uh, everywhere, in school, every day when I was born, the doctor said you're ugly, so everybody laughing. Uh, in school, they say you had like an eggplant, so everybody laughing, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, That ain't right, that ain't right. So comedy for me has always been in it. Like, I've, I think I was born with that, um, with, with that comedy chip. I was always the class clown, always born class clown. Um, always um, voted class clown. I was always in rose battles in school, so I think um, I was born with it. Ah, yeah. Yes. Mm, mm, I like that. Um, <laughs> I would say similar to what he was saying, because I asked my mom, like, you know, you know, you thought I was funny, and she was like, when you was born, like the day I was born, <laughs> it, was like, it was like a whole joke. I was like, oh, okay. No. <laughs> it tells me I was an accident or whatever. So I, I would say yes. Yeah, so oh. I, 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 I grew up, I guess, being funny. Uh, same thing, class clown and boredom. I would say boredom too. I get very That's bored very fast and shit. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. Are you bored now? I don't know if I'm bored now. No, nah, I mean, I'm having a good time. There you go. <laughs> what about you? Why I gotta be last? The little people gotta be last? Oh, no, don't I'm, do I'm that. canceled don't now. Do canceled. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't say do that. Oprah, you gotta do better. <laughs> And then I need a little chair. Put my legs. That's how I hang in my legs. I'm gonna help him up. I'm gonna help him up. Don't touch me. Don't touch. Don't 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 don't, don't touch me. Um, comedy like since <laughs> they real, y'all. They real. They real. They real. Uh, um, comedy is like 
since I was born, like my, my grandmother, my mother used to call me a payaso. You know, you're a clown. You know, and my mo I asked my mother, I said, Mommy, like, I'm the only little people in the family. My brothers, my sister, they told at me, like, why I come out like this? And, he, and she said, the, there you go. <laughs> Medio polvo. What's that? That means that no, my, my dad. Half a nut. Yeah, half a nut. <laughs> you no. Know? Oh, and wow. I, yeah. And I'm like, so you gonna tell so me? Is this on public so, television? <laughs> His dad didn't go all the way in. You right? Like, yes, that's what she said. Oh, and I'm like, wow. That's what happened. And I was like, wow. So yeah, then yeah. in school, I got picked on, I got roasted on, and I was like, nah, yes. f that. And I don't know. You like to make people laugh. Yeah. You know. That's awesome you touch on something for the next question because we hear from a lot of comedians, they say what, how, what comedy helped them escape from. So what, how has comedy helped you mentally to where you are now? I don't need to go first every time because I'm next <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. Okay, okay. okay. We'll, go back. we'll go back. Let me, let me prepare my... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we'll go um, this way now. <laughs> I, had a, I had a regular nine to five job. I used to be a social worker. And um, I was at a point in my life where I was like, I don't want to say that I was bored with work or whatever, but I was bored with work and I wanted more out of life. And I was doing these videos like on the side and um, I ended up getting fired from my job. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get unemployment. Let me see what's going to come out with these videos. And I stood consistent like six years later and I'm here now, you know. So. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> well, with me. I used to get roasted a lot. You know, they used to make fun of me. I just want everybody to feel sorry for him. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, I just like I used to get picked up a lot. You know, even in jobs, I couldn't get, like jobs. It was hard for me. Like me going to an interview, I used to go dressed up nice, in a, in a nice my, my nice little suit. You know, and it's like, oh, we give you a call. Like Johnny, I'm being serious, okay? Don't laugh. Nice nah, but. It's been hard for me, like jobs. I couldn't get jobs, you know, and I was like, you know what? Let me make people laugh. And ever since, I started with the diaper. And after the diaper, I was like, nah. The diaper, I don't like the diaper. And then I was doing the school bus, the I got to the school bus, and me acting as a kid, and Chucky. And I don't know, I like to make people laugh and stuff, you know? And people hit me up saying, yo, your videos make me laugh. And I've been depressed and stressed, even little people. Well, little people, they're coming at me crazy. They'd be like, no, don't, don't do that. You, look, you make a fool out of yourself. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Like, go sleep. You know, if you got talent, use that. Whoever. Yeah. Oh, oh um, comedy in general, um, what was the question? Yeah, what was the question? <laughs> I done forgot about it. I was how it so got you it from was, where you at right now. How it got you from where you at right now with mental health and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah, has, I comedy, remember. how has comedy oh, helped you? Oh, now you want to talk, man. Now <laughs> yeah. you want to talk. Exactly. Because I've been repeating Com the question in my head, you know? <laughs> Comedy in general, like outside of doing videos and everything, like I've always seen everything in the comedic light. Um, everything hard that goes on, like there's a lot going, Ooh. there's a lot of shit going on in the world now. And if you see it from the funny side, it's not, it doesn't hit you as hard. So everything, hey, yo, pause. Everything nah, difficult, <laughs> I get it, because we got Ken Stars in the movie. <laughs> Everything difficult in life that has happened to me and to those around me, I see it, you know, from a comedic light. I see the positive point of view of everything. And that's how, like, my, my mental stability, comedy has helped my mental state yeah. be sane, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I use comedy to keep myself balanced mentally and, and not, like... Can I add something to that? Of course. Go for it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I guess from what I was saying earlier, like I was in a point in my life where I didn't know what I wanted to do. But doing these videos is probably the longest job I ever had in my life. Like staying stuck, doing, doing this, and seeing what comes out of it is like a beautiful thing. Yeah. All right, my fool. Yeah, for me. So right back to me, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Now we go back and forth. Y'all like, just see. ping ponging. Oh my piggyback, God. piggyback. Yeah, no, um, no, comedy really has um, helped, you know, I, I vowed to myself that I would always do comedy to help people's mental health. Like, you know, um, I always said that, like, if somebody comes to my page or my YouTube or TikTok, I'm not going to display anything negative. Like, you know, you come to my page to laugh. So that's what I plan to do. And I, I know my work. I know my purpose in life. And my purpose is to make people laugh. So 
yeah, come to my page, you're gonna have a good time, and you know what I mean, and just let all the depression and everything go. Okay. <laughs> Let me read that one more time. Let me just... She was like, I Let heard me, all your answers. Done. I want to do a different answer. She's like, Let me um, look at them. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, okay. My answer got to um, sound the best as I'm last. Uh, <laughs> um, so comedy has really always just been a part of who I am, naturally. Like, I, I mean, growing up, I never tried to be funny. It was just kind of who I was. Right. Um, mm. So, I mean, it just, you know, what, what you trying to say? Ah, I like it. I like it. True doing. Um, <laughs> so I never really seen how much of, how much of it it made, how much of it it affected me mentally or socially. It was just kind of like something like walking or breathing that yeah. it is, wow. it is. Like Excuse people, me. Wow. And like gravitate to my energy, and you know you love that, you appreciate that. So I mean, I, I hope I answered the question, you especially did. after going around yeah, five times. You did. Have a you, did. Now. <laughs> you did. You did. You, did. <laughs> you got it. You got oh, wait, it. you're not off the hook yet because you said something interesting. You said you never realized the impact it was having on you. Mm -hmm. Now that you've reached a certain level of success, moments like these, have you took the time to now kind of realize it or process it? Yeah, I definitely have processed like how much of an impact I have on other people um, just by being me, showing up, um, not even trying hard. Like, you know, it, that, the effortness, the effortlessness. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and I wasn't that good in English class, but today I'm trying. There we go. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's it's really like something so impo important. Like, and I'm sure we're gonna, because being that this is a social media panel, uh, we're gonna touch on on it and how effortlessness really is important of showing up in social media in who we are. Like, that's what makes our job like ten times easier. Yeah, it's just like yo. We got I'm being me. Yeah. You're going to love it. You're going to hate it. But as long as I'm being authentic to yeah. me, that's it. That's it. Yes. Yes. Definitely. You, 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 you. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause Thank you. Thank you. Somebody thank clap. You, you, you should be on you. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> you know. Listen, speak it. But no, you touched on social media. And something that you guys all have in common is you all went viral. Um, so when did you realize you were going viral in, those, in that moment? Was it scary? What was, like, walk me... <laughs> <laughs> Walk me through the moment of going viral in that moment and what viral meant, right? Because you all have been doing it for a long time, so that wasn't necessarily a thing. But Can't take the lead, Mr. Viral. There we go. Uh, all right. New York um, was viral. I say the first time I went Actually, viral, uh, I smacked a dude in a casket. <laughs> you know what I mean. It was, oh, no, hey, listen, relax, relax, guys. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's an a, asshole. He was trying to give you flowers, but I mean, like, it's on I got YouTube. a bouquet. Shout out to AJTV. It's on YouTube. It's 10 things not to do at a funeral. All right? Well, I yeah. slapped a dude in the casket or whatever. And um, I, I, I posted, like, the behind the scenes video of it. And, like, the next day, I woke up to, like, 200,000 followers. I had, like, 30,000. I woke up to 200,000. Next mom, day? Yeah, the next day. The next day. My mom's waking me up. You killed somebody? Like, <laughs> what you did? I'm getting calls from my aunt. You punishing your mother? With the... <laughs> it was it was crazy, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I was getting emails from church groups because people thought I was a real bad yeah. dude yeah. that went into a funeral and smacked a dead guy in the casket. I thought that owed, too. I'm not gonna lie. Because he owed me money, and it was nothing like that. But, <laughs> but um, after that, it was uh, my page kept getting deleted. Because every people really thought that's what that's the type of person I was. Yeah. Thought I was an ex-gang member, <laughs> slapping people in funerals and stuff like that. So Amazing. right now I'm on my ninth Instagram page. Oh, this son. is my ninth Instagram page. So uh, wow. when I went viral, I didn't know what to do after. I was just like, you know, you're only as good as your last video. So my in my head, I'm like, should I keep slapping people? Is, <laughs> is that what's gonna make me famous? But I'm like, nah, I don't want to be that type of guy. So. You're only as good as your last video. So I had to create, and I kept creating. I still, cons uh, I still consistent to uh, to my craft. And like yeah. nine pages later, I'm still here. <laughs> nine pages. What about you? My first video I was I was a stripper. Ow. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh my God. Can somebody blur that out? Like, blur it. Blur it. No. Nah, 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 nah. Titty was right next to me. <laughs> Yo. I don't have titties. <laughs> Your chesticles. <laughs> um, my first video went super viral was the school bus. 
Um, shout out to Daniel Jean. Um, I, I got like, I was just shocked it went super viral because people was mad throwing a kid out the school bus. They were mad. Then they got more madder when they found us a little man. Yes. <laughs> that was like, you played too much. Wasted our time. Yo, that yes. Was one of my even my, even my mother, my, like my mother, my family was like, yo, I was mad because a tall man throwing a, a kid out the school bus until they saw my face. And I don't know. It was just, then by that time, I'm like, no, I'm, go ahead. I, no, no, I got, I got emotional like about something. Oh, okay. He really got smacked. He really got smacked. Uh, really smacked. <laughs> Nueva? Now I was talking about something. Um, oh, man, I'm sorry. The question was viral? Yeah. At that moment, you knew you was going viral, and, and how did you feel in that moment? So when I first started doing videos, I didn't know what viral meant. I didn't understand right. the concept of what going viral was. Right. Um, when I first started putting out content, I didn't have an identity online. I was just doing everything everybody else was doing. Um, back in those days, it was like white people be like, or <laughs> Spanish people be like, those types of videos. So I was doing those types of videos, and then um, I ran into one of my idols, Tommy 5K, and he's like, yo, stop doing what everybody else is doing. You gotta find something that people relate to you and, and something that people follow you for personally, right? Um, so I went home, I had an existential crisis. I'm like, who am I? What's my purpose? If I really want to <laughs> keep, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, it was some shit. I'm like, do I really want to keep putting out these videos? Do I want to be a social media person? Do I want to be a comedian? So I, I, you know, I decided I did. And what do I want to be on social media? So I went back to my roots. Like, I didn't learn how to speak English till I was about 13. Like, I was in ESL. So I'm like, let me just put up a video, you know, um, bringing back, who the fuck is sneaking? Oh. <laughs> Yo I, yo, I saw some shit. I probably, I, yeah, I was ready. Uh, I'm sorry. Yo, oh my god. Oh yeah, I saw this. I saw this. Not my way. He was like, shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take her. Not no, my I saw mom. something. I saw something. I was like, what the fuck? Oh no. Yeah. So I did my first video. I'm like, I'm gonna put this poppy character online. See what happens. First video instantly went viral. I don't know what viral was. Um, I deleted my Instagram, I restarted my phone, I took my phone to T-Mobile because I thought my phone was broken because <laughs> of all the notifications and everything coming through. Wow. Yeah, like no, you real was, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know say what yeah, this is. Yeah. Everybody yeah. call me. I don't yeah, know. Out of every, every day, ding, 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 ding. I don't know. <laughs> the ding, 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 the problem here on the phone. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, warranty cover it? I don't know. So um, I remember like one of the first videos that went viral for me was the iPhone. 100 plus month, like yeah. I walked out with a whole big ass TV, and then it was Rafizi, are we open in the store? And then, um, that like I was blowing up in the Spanish community. Yeah. And then the video that took me over to the English market was the Christopher Columbus Day video. That the Papi discovers the car, like I discovered oh, it, and that shit got picked up by all the American um, social media websites. All the like it went international, like that shit was crazy. So then that took me to like a different level of, of viral and and influence and, 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 and mm. just, you know, um, connectivity yeah. with the world. Yeah, 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 I'm trying, man, thank yeah. you. Yo, who is that? He should be up here. He should, Help right? you, hell yeah, help moderate it. He's such a help. <laughs> Stace? Oh man, I can't, uh, I don't know where to begin. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been viral like at least 40 times. Damn, go ahead, bro. Coño. Let me fight on it. <laughs> Same. I got you. <laughs> nah, but um, I think the fr my first viral video was um, for the wrong reasons. Um, I actually started the train trend where everybody was doing this stuff on the train and everything like that. But um, viral for me was just like, you know, I actually started out with Ken. Ken Stars was like one of the first people hey that guys. actually allowed, <laughs> that actually was like, yo, I'm gonna work with her. You know what I mean? Like, and she, so she I, was, really, I don't even want to cut her. She was doing her own thing, and like, I was like, we need this. Yes, you know, need yes. This, so. so Ken was like, yo, what's up? And I hit him up, and I'm like, yo, let's get it on, you know? And from then on, let's get it on. No, we, did, wow. we, did, we, did, we, wow. we didn't really get it on, but we got it on. <laughs> We did like MTV's ridiculousness. Like, yes, we've been on ridiculousness. Regardless of how cheap they are, or whatever, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're super cheap. They're very cheap, but they're cheap. Facts. All right, bring it back. Bring it back. But yeah, so yeah, so I actually went viral for the wrong reason. So yeah, I was doing um, you know comedy skits with Ken and the crew, 
And, um, and then I did something with this guy named Prince Z, shout out to Prince Z. Oh, um, and we got on the train and he was like, yo, sit on me. And I was like, okay, cause he's small. He's like mm. about 4'11 and I'm like, all right. So don't if say you that. die, you die. You know don't what I mean? You're going to go crazy. <laughs> I, was, I was about to. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, we, um, we did that video. We posted it up, and um, it was everywhere. I mean, it was on Inside Edition. It was on Barstool Sports, Snapchat. I mean, it was everywhere. And then, you know, the death threats started coming in, and, oh, you're this and that. And, you know, but that death was viral threats? for me. Yeah, I got death. I mean, like, from... The course of videos that I did, yeah. So, like, the course of videos that I've done over time, like, some of them initially wasn't, like, for the right reasons. Like, they were, like, controversial and more like a social experiment. You know what I mean? And so they thought it was real. Like, everybody else, they think the video was real. But in all actuality, it's not. It's just something that we come up with freestyle. And so, long story short, um, yeah, like, I just, when I went viral, I was like, okay, like, like Ken said, what's next? You know what I mean? You got to stay consistent and you got to like come up with a new, fresh idea that's going to shock the world. So with that being said, yeah, you know, I just kept going and just thinking of all type of ideas that was like out of the norm and just continued to go viral. And um, listen, I just wanted the eyes and ears to see my talent. Like Melanie said, what I'm born with, you know, the naturalness and... Um, here we are, man. We got this. Yes. Hey. Yo, somebody, somebody get him a water, please. Yeah, get him a and water. Guys, <laughs> and a bag of chips. He's doing good. He's doing good. <laughs> guys, like energy's it. on a million. I thought there was something like very important that you said, like the controversy aspect of it. Yeah. Because in reality, if it ain't roughing up some feathers, it ain't really go viral. Like that's, that's right. the our first video that I mean, we had a few videos that like went viral compared to like what you imagine, like a hundred thousand views and something, but the like the biggest one that really took us in a different light was us like me yelling at him singing Bodak Yellow in the club. Oh, that was like one of our yeah. biggest ones that went all over the place. Yeah, and there yeah. was obviously the um, the Duce, the pouring uh, lemonade in the Duce video yeah. that Cardi B reposted. Um, but I have like this bad habit of not like things happening and I'm like this, like not un unaware of it. Yeah, like yeah. it takes it takes like me to step out of it to be like, holy shit, this yeah. video was all over the place, like <laughs> ESPN and yeah. uh, Snapchat and all them stuff. So yeah. I'm like, even now I'm still kind of processing the fact that I have those habits of not being in the present moment and or even like being so in my head that I'm not unaware of what's really happening. Is it because you're thinking about like what to do next? I don't know if it's about. I think it's because it's her do. everyday life. It's her life. She's living her life. This uh -huh. is what happens in couple. You know what I mean? Like, and and so yeah, you can't really see it when you're inside. When mm. you're in this situation, you don't see the the magnitude and like the impact you put on everyone else. But because you're in it, you're in mm -hmm. it, right? Okay, so, so I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that crazy. That makes sense. That makes Trust sense. Me. Awesome, awesome. I'm crazy. Now we touched on mental health and going viral. Um, and clearly, I'm sure everyone on this panel has had moments of just, you know, feeling down or whatever it is, depressed or anything like that. What do you wish you knew about going viral then that you know now? Oh, I, you know what, what I am going to say is what I did know is, is when you get in the negative comments, you really can't let it affect you. Like, that's just someone yeah. else's opinion and you just got to toss it out, out of that because that really can mess with you. Like, uh, when we first blew up, me and Chiclet, Chiclet was very invested in our content. It was mainly him, his creative process, and me just being like who I am and our dynamic just working for us. So he was very much invested in the product and the outcome of the product, and I was kind of like, the standby, like, I'm so happy for you, bro. Like, that's amazing that's going on for you. But then when I started getting invested in my content and what I put out, it really messed with me when people disliked it or wasn't a fan of it. And then I had to remind myself the things that I was telling him. Yeah, like, you right. really can't care. Exactly. Because if you care, then why you do it at all? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Stace? Uh, yeah, mental health is um, definitely uh, a thing, you know, with social media. Wrong like question. She, <laughs> yo, shut up. No, it is, though. It is. 
I, I wasn't no, gonna say nothing, but I'm. You know what? But I'm, like, I want to piggyback <laughs> on what she said. <laughs> Yo, shut up. Um, but no, seriously, all jokes aside, yeah, the negative comments is definitely a big thing because me being a big girl, I mean, listen, you got negative comments, right? Like regular negative comments. But then, uh, oh, they, you know what? Yo, Hold yo, on. yo get us my yo, that's my girl. Yo, that's my girl. Watch your mouth. I'm that's my girl. Yo, get them two, ba yo, get him two <laughs> bags of chips. Yo. I like Give this guy. Give them two bags of chips. <laughs> nah, but um, all jokes aside, just like, you know, um, the negative comments already as a whole is just bad. So then add you being fat, you doing this, you being black or dark or whatever, or whatever it is. Like, it's just a, a slew of negativity that comes along with being viral and just being out there, period. So um, the thing about it is I just say like have tough skin. You know, you gotta ignore people's opinion about you. You yep. know what I mean? Because if you allow that to mental, like to get to you mentally, you're done, you're done. Focus on what your goal is and the task at hand, and, and you know what I mean? You're gonna go far, you're gonna go super far. Yeah. What's the impact you wanna make? No. No. Oh, the That's impact? Oh, that was a that two was part a, that was question? A that wasn't even it a, was a rhetorical <laughs> question. It was, it was like an you, add on. For real, that was a part of it? The, the impact. impact. Oh, so the impact I wanna make. Nah, I'm no, no. no, the no, impact no. I wanna make, I really do wanna, um, you know, Represent for the big girls out there, you know. Yeah, the BBWs across the planet, you know. Um, <laughs> nah, but definitely, yeah, the impact is just, you know, body positivity and just being yourself and your skin and being comfortable. And it doesn't really have to limit your size. It could be whatever, your height, your weight, whatever, your, your complexion. You know, just love yourself and, you know, you're gonna go far. And that's what I wanna impact the world with. Awesome, awesome. Positivity. <laughs> Nueva. <laughs> Remember? Mm. Oh, repeat? Oh. You good? So what, <laughs> what I wish I knew about going viral back then, like five years ago, that I didn't know that I know now was the business side of it. Like yeah. if I would have had the business savvy and, and understand the industry like I do now back then, like you, I wouldn't be sitting here, like honestly. Why you wouldn't honestly, be sitting yeah. here? You wouldn't <laughs> be fucking sitting here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I would have answered your phone call, but still, like, I, you would have to speak to three different people before getting to exactly type shit. No, but yeah, no, really, the business side, like, yeah. mm -hmm. like back in the day, I used to put out a video a day, and now I'm whenever I feel like it, and I'm making more now than I was back then, busting my ass, you know, because the business is is more intelligent now. It's yeah. there's different sources of revenue. There's a whole lot of there's oh, yeah. so much money, like in different. It's crazy. If we yeah. get into that, we're going to need another four hours. Oh, that's a fact. Next, that's but yeah, the business. Question. I wish I knew the business about going, you know. Cool, yeah. cool. Awesome, awesome. Ken? Um, I, would say, I would say that too. I guess the business side of it. Because once I went viral, I was hosting clubs for Henny Bottles. I wasn't sure about getting <laughs> for money. For the hookah. Is it true? So, <laughs> a Henny Bottle and a little hookah. Yo, you that funny? Yeah. Come to the club. Yeah. Get a free bottle and a hookah. Yeah. I'm it's free. I don't gotta pay three hundred dollars. You know, I'll, I'll go and, and like, and I'll have a good night. But like, towards that, towards that, that, that whole process, you're like, I'm broke though. I went viral, but I'm yeah, broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, what do you do? And um, I guess I, I'm just happy I figured it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's 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 very scary when you uh, depend on a free app yeah. to eat. <laughs> and, and like pay your bills. Yeah. It's a free app. That's how I saw it. You know, like anybody could do it, and it's just being yourself. And like what Melanie said, these negative comments is just a fart in the wind. You know, you just don't pay attention to it. Don't even look back. You know, so. <laughs> a fart in the wind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Four three. I'm sorry. Can I just back off real yeah, quick? Of just a point, like a parenthesis. Like if you put it in, into perspective, like you said, it's a free app that can allow you to make money, like real money, dollars. It's like, true. So like that, I, I couldn't fathom that in the beginning. Like I was just like everybody else putting up pictures of what I was eating, <laughs> fucking vacation pictures. Nah, like now you, you want to post for me, like it's money, like yeah. it's crazy. What? If you're looking for promo, please contact me. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if you saw my success here in the panel before, but that's my manager. You could just holler at yeah. like it's the, the app itself is like, it's, it's good and bad. Like I lost my job because of this app, you know yeah. what I mean? I was I worked for the Gay Men's Health Center. I was a social social worker for them for like three three years. I had just did a video where I slapped a dude in the casket and people were recognizing me. Like some of my case my my cases they were like, 
I don't want him using my life and his videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like, it was a conflict of interest. I remember coming to my job one day and I'm thinking I'm getting a raise. And they're like, why are you relate today? I was like, nah, I was helping my father. He pulls out the iPad, it's me at a flyer at a strip club that I, was, <laughs> that I was hosting. And I'm there like, yeah, bro, look, that's what I do on the side. And I ended up getting fired, but it was a blessing. Like, yeah. Yeah. the dude liked what I do. He was like, I, he knew who I was and he was like, I'm still give you unemployment. Just have fun, bro. And I was like, you know what? Wow. I'm gonna try this. Damn, my God, did you a favor? That's what <laughs> he, he did. did. He did. He did. He was like, I see what you do. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. I was look. I was in my own cubicle. I I did the nine to five thing, and I, I like I, I worked for a long time. It was just like. I need something else. Like, I'm getting bored and- Now you working with more. P. Diddy and shit out here. Yeah. Yo, you out here, music videos. <laughs> so, I, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know, we can I talk about you. that later. I don't know. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Miguel, Four, you're next. I got you, I got it, Dane. Miguel? <laughs> so this time, right? So, <laughs> no, I'm about to cry. Um, when I first started doing videos, like, I want to give up because my height, you know, I used to feel like, damn, they're gonna make fun Just of me. Come on. You know, Yo, the, the fuck? For his height. <laughs> he he being honest though. No, I'm being honest. I think he's tall. I am tall. I'm six feet. You see? Me too. I and don't even see his height. I was like, you know what? The nigga comments f that, and I start doing video. Then little people they just be like, Yo, why are you making a fool out of yourself? Why are you using the word midget? I said, It's not a bad word, you know. No, it's not. I mean, for you, it well, may for not me, it's be. not. But for other little people, because I be wanting it to say it sometimes. It is a little sensitive. It is a little. Well, sensitive. I always, t I always, t I always <laughs> tell you, if y'all, if y'all say that, be careful, right? They might jump y'all. Yeah, yeah, no, we don't say, it. we don't say. Now, for me, I don't, I don't get offended. So I had little people coming at me crazy mm -hmm. with the comments and stuff. I'm like, yo, so what? You know, if you got talent, use it, and that's what I do it for to motivate other little people. Yeah, you, you do, know? you do. I see that. The so big in the world. Awesome. Yeah. You guys all touched on this really? <laughs> as um, minorities in this game on social media. Everyone now that sees your talent, they want a piece of you, right? They want you to post and they need to do for money. Um, how do you seek out brand opportunities and how do you determine what to take on for your personal brand and what, how do you deni and deny it? I'll start that. Okay. I look for a brand that can accept me for who I am and I don't have to change for anybody. That's the only way. I. I could like cooperate, you know what I mean? Because I'm not gonna sell myself short. I'm not gonna be a sellout, and I'm I'm gonna I'm always gonna be me. Yeah. So like it's like whatever brand is comfortable with that, then I'm I'm, I'm with that. Yeah. Four three. Same thing. What he says. Yeah. You know. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little so, uh, people. Yeah, because oh. I'm little, I can't really promote stuff big like. Wow. Oh, 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 you, I oh that was going to talk about the question. No, gonna... no, he starts off every answer with because I'm little, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he does, though. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, well, he is little, but I mean, no. Nah, he got not. a big heart. Stacey. He do got a big yeah, heart. That's all that matters. You going to answer okay. the questions? Okay, so, okay. Little people. <laughs> hey, little. <laughs> nah, but, um, okay, so I'll answer. So you said with the branding. Think, like, how do you yeah, determine yeah. and, you know. Oh, yeah. like, well, so basically for me, what I would do, um, normally I reach out to brands like, you know, well, obviously I'm a big girl, so I reach out to brands and, you know, I do have like a manager that reach out to other, you know, plus size companies and, you know, just let them know, like, listen, this is her aesthetic. This is what she's going to, you know, offer. And, um. We go from there. And then shout out to Fashion Nova. Ow. We, I'm wearing their right jeans here. right now. <laughs> and their shoes. Ooh, Ooh <laughs> those is, I'm getting those. Oh okay. Those are not so nice. So, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, definitely just reaching out to these brands and just like giving them something to say, okay, like, listen, this is my audience. This is what I have to offer, you know? And um, yeah, and just say, let's, what's up? Let's work and let's get it on, you know? And yeah, damn, yeah. you love getting let's it on. Get it I on. love getting it on. <laughs> That's a whole nother show um, now. The way, uh, so first and foremost, if it don't make sense Oop. on our end and on their end, uh, it's, it's not worth it. The bag it's doesn't make right. sense. Yeah. Like, I'm not, we're not gonna force content. If it's not organic for us to do, we're not gonna do it because realistically as a partner, if I'm like, yeah, you offer me like 20,000 for a video and I'm like, yo, his, whatever he has to offer is trash, but I'm like, yo, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do it, right? Yeah. And then I'll do it and the, my followers don't like it. 
Mm-hmm. Now you just spent twenty thousand for content that is not even you're not even seeing that outcome. So if it's not gonna make sense for us, for them, we're not gonna do it like that. You know? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So for the audience, so say you upload your funny video, it goes viral. What should someone next step be? Wait. <laughs> no, no, I, I swear to God, just be patient. Yeah. yeah. Don't do yeah. nothing else. Some people probably tell you like like when they told me to smack when I smacked the dude in the casket. That should be your character. You should do that. Go around smacking people no. in funerals. I was like, <laughs> you dick. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, come on. Like, I don't want to be that. Like, I just want to create and create. But it, it's just like I said earlier. You're only as good as your next video. So you got you got you got the the, the heat coming up. You got people following you. Drop another video. That's, That's all you can mm-hmm. do. And just wait. Yeah. And I would say consistency. You have yeah, to be. You have consistent. to be. Like, Ken is the Mr. Consistent. Like, he used to drop, like, four videos a day. I don't know if he still do. I mean, sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah, but, yeah. I yeah. slow down. I slow down. But it's about consistency. It's really about letting the people be it in the people's face, you know? Like, really having your brand and your videos out there for people to see. So just be consistent every time. After you go viral, like he said, wait, be patient. Because, you know, even though it's viral in the moment... It, yeah. You could just oh. it'll go, it'll disappear. A week later, a week later they you know, about like anything else, else you That's you true. know, even in the news, something happens and then like a week later we kind of forget about it. So you don't want to be forgotten. You want to keep being consistent and always in the per- person's eyes, and we and you're good. You're good. See, now <laughs> I think they, those are both like very good points. Well, but I think that answer. one thing, <laughs> yeah, you already know. Uh, ah! you, know <laughs> you know, one thing that I kind of learned is. Whatever feels right for you in the moment, that's what you need to do. So, you know, for yeah. Stace, it felt like being consistent. Like, she had that energy to push content out, and that made sense for her. But sometimes it's like Kent wanted to wait. Yeah. He wanted to wait. He didn't want to, he doesn't want to do the same thing. He want to process what's happening. And, both, you know, they're both correct. But what matters is what feels right for you. Mm -hmm. So if you, you need to really trust your instincts, trust what you want to do, move with that. Don't let other um, ideas and like what you should do matter. Like, no, trust your heart, trust what your brain is telling you and do that. You you think you need to push 10,000 videos a day? (laughs) Follow that. If you feel like you need to wait a week (laughs) before you drop content, do that. There's no right or wrong answer with it. It's just the right thing to do is to follow it. You have to follow your instincts. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't doesn't matter how long you've been doing this. Honestly, it takes one video. Mm. That's it, one. You can wake up with 500,000 followers. Yeah, so some real advice, right? Um, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) (laughs) It all sounds cute. Like, you know, follow your heart. (laughs) Keep putting out content. (laughs) Keep working. (laughs) Shit. He over there the on that side is, talking shit over there. Ah, look at me in the middle. <laughs> like, there's no shame in seeking guidance, right? If it's your first time, if you're seeing attention for the first time, if you're being viral for the first time, it could get to a lot of people. So seek guidance from somebody, right? Reach out to Ken. Ken, you know, you've yeah. been through this. What do you think? If, if you're already in the industry, seek guidance from a publicist, from, from a manager, from somebody that's already in the industry, because they can help you move. You don't have to do it alone no more. The road's already been paved. Yeah. Right. The that's road's already happens. been paved. You don't have to do it alone anymore. Right? right? Yeah. So that's, that's my little don't, nugget. That's don't, my, the only thing. To, exactly. Well, he can't, yeah. I'm going to be honest. We can't see. Like, so it's what literally you, like. So what you said, yeah. when, when I was going viral, nobody was really doing videos right. like that. So it was hard for me to reach out to somebody, you know what I mean? So it was, That doesn't have to be the case for yeah, no, my man's over there. He looks like he's trying right, to go viral yeah, here you know? tonight. Yeah. He's trying, he's, I I think, get he's about up, to jump like, on stage on, at any point. Look, um, at the end of the day, I saw Instagram after a while as my resume. You know yeah. what, I'm gonna do videos, I'm gonna give you the best of what I got creatively. Hopefully you like it, hopefully somebody bites, hopefully the right person sees it and be like, hey listen, you wanna do Wild and Out? You wanna do this, you wanna do that? One. I got a question. Do you guys wait for opportunities to come to you or do you guys knock on doors for acting or, or promo or brand deals? Like uh, Brand deals, let's say with cookies. I was, I'm, a, I'm a big cookies. fan of cookies. Like oh, the cookies. Big brand. oh, cookies. Oh, cookies. She said cookies. <laughs> cookies. I'm like, cookies? <laughs> The cookies, the weed brand. And saw me uh, called you and they didn't call me. I was, a, I was a fan of them, so I hit them up personally. And then we, you know, got to connect in and we created something. You know what I mean? We created a, yeah. a, a goal to, like, you know, help me out, help them out, whatever. Um, but besides that, everything else was just, you know, 
he's viral and most businesses let's let's get him you know yeah Certain brands you gotta you do gotta contact, you do gotta like reach out to them and be like, hey, this is me, and you know, you got something to offer, like I said, exchange for services, you know. But then like when you get to a certain point and they see you again, you know, yeah, and you gotta be up. seen. Once you're at that level where you're seen, they're gonna reach out to you like, yo, I want you, I want your aesthetic, I want your see, but that's, that's why I felt like I had a post every day. I want everybody to see me. That's I, right. Yeah. I don't care that's if right. y'all gonna get annoyed, y'all gonna see me. I don't care if it's yeah. not that funny. I thought it was funny. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. That's I'm, a fact. I'm yeah. just gonna keep posting. That, you know? No it. doubt, no doubt. So before I let you guys go, being creative, um, we all we often have times of just feeling stuck, and I would love for you guys to speak to the audience of like the time you feel stuck and kind of give them advice of how to kind of get out of that and you know continue to push through when they feel stale or the phone isn't ringing or brands aren't reaching out? If, if you feel stuck, I, my best advice is to just, just take a second. Like, get out of your head. Go back to the beginning. Like, what was really important when you made content? Or if you're making content, like, what mattered? Like, you know, like, why'd you do it to begin with? Because then you start getting in your head, like, oh, I'm not getting deals. And, like, yeah. I've hit people up. <laughs> and to work, and they they'll, they'll deny me. Yeah. And it's not until they'll come, they'll they'll see me, and then they'll come and reach back out Sex. a year you later or six head. months later. And I don't be I, like, yo, get out of my face! I don't want your money. No, you know, I'm not gonna do that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it's when uh, I, I drifted off to the conversation. But when you feel <laughs> when but you feel back. stuck, like yeah. just take a second, work on yourself mentally. Like it is a huge role. It, it plays a huge part in what you do and like the, and how we show up every day plays a huge role. A lot of people like I, I was on live today. Like this is random, but I was on live on TikTok and someone was like, an influencer isn't a job, and I was like. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, an influencer isn't a job, girl. You you show up on social media 24-7 and you tell me it isn't a job. You make content and tell me it isn't a job. So you look at someone who's in marketing and you tell them like they're, that's their job. Yeah. They work for a company and they do marketing. Yeah. What do you think we do? We marketing. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to circle it back. <laughs> um, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah. What was the question? It was, what would you give advice for people that feel stuck in their creativity if the phone isn't ringing and brands aren't reaching out to kind of keep going and move forward and to push for ultimately what they you know, say they want? I would like to what Melanie said. You got to try different things and um, collab as much as you can, you know, um, and just be patient. I was doing this for like seven years already, and I didn't get my, my big break till like two years ago. I'm in a DJ Khaled video. I'm in my first movie. I met Diddy this year, and um, I don't know, if, where's, where's, where's Mike at? Can I talk about it? The contract, no? Yeah, go for it. Yeah? Yeah. Be, right. be vague, be, All right, I, be I'm vague. Working, I'm working on, be vague. I'm working on a deal right now with Revolt yeah. to get my own show, so. Congrats. Yeah, right. Congratulations. <laughs> It's uh, it's like watching it like full circle happen. Like, okay, Cam, two on the Trust nose. The process. It's crazy. It's, not, it's the, process. the process. It's crazy. Stop it, yeah. Cam, two on the nose. All right, all right, all right, all right. Four, three. All right. Are you gonna dance? Did you? I always tell people if you got talent, right? If you can't afford, I'm not gonna break it. Relax, relax. <laughs> if you can't that. afford this, right? If you can't afford this, I always tell people use your phone and start recording. You know, that's what I did, that's what I do. You know, I use my phone to record, and I tell people, Segui pa'lante, don't give up. Yeah, don't ever grab that, don't ever grab okay. this camera again, oh, you know? yeah. okay. But it's the truth, it's the no, truth that people ask me. that camera weigh more than you, don't ever <laughs> touch that shit again, you know? Do ever? Do ever, y'all. Oh, um, nah, so, I'm, I'm gonna speak personally, I don't know how everybody else deals with their, you know, whatever they're going on with. Um, I have different ad avenues to express my creative. So if I'm feeling stuck in one, I go somewhere else real quick, and then that'll help me circle back around. So I do stand-up comedy. So whenever I'm, I'm feeling stuck with videos and content and social media, I take a break from that, and I give some love to stand-up comedy. And then, you know, when I'm tired of, you know, doing stand-up, then I'll circle back and, and give, you know, content on social media, or I'll go out and, and watch other creatives 
uh, like watching other creatives gives you ideas. Like you can go to a spoken word, you can go to all the comedy shows downtown, you can go to plays, you can go to all these, you can go to a sip and pour, like a sip and paint. Like these are all creative outlets that'll like unlock your, your, your mental when it comes to, you know, being like, you know, writer's block. That's the, so what do they do? They go on fucking adventures. They throw themselves off cliffs and shit, you know? <laughs> and so shit like that. Like, don't let it get to you, man. Like, it's always yeah. there. Like, if you were able to unlock it in the, in the first place, don't think you lost it forever. Like, it's there. You just got to, like... It's Can I say one more thing? Access, it's easier me, said than done. That is easier said than done. Nah, when you have easy. writer's it's block or, like... You know, even though I never go through that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I always got something fresh in my mind. I can do something right. I have an idea right now. Yo, let's like, do I'm something right do... now with the crowd. Yeah, we actually, that's what I was thinking. I literally was thinking that. So, yeah, no, definitely. Um, If you do have writer's block or, like, when I say writer's block, because we don't really write our stuff. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I don't write my stuff. It's just freestyled and come to the dome and just... Oh, that sounded crazy. Improv. But anyway, improv. improv. Hey. Exactly, the proper term is improv. But, um... Yeah, I mean, if you're feeling, if you're stuck, you know, and you just don't know what to do, I think you gotta like just, like they said, you know, separate yourself, meditate, do something that kind of separates you from the content and just like focus on, like Melanie said, the goal. Like, what did you start from? Like, why did you start doing it? You know, so yeah, that's what you do. Just, you know, whoosa. Can I yeah, say one awesome. thing? Yeah, take us, um, take us out. <laughs> Management. That's like a big role, I guess, when you go viral. You try to seek somebody to help you out to like, you know, uh, show you the road or whatever. And I wanna like, just give a shout out to my management, this group, Mike, Don. Uh, them, them dudes put me in a position that I cannot, you know, like, turn down. So, thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, guys. Well, thank you guys for listening. Thank the panelists for being here. I hope you guys had fun Yay. and took some knowledge. And yeah, let's take a picture and Get the show on the road. Get this guy two bags of potato chips. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for hearing us out. Thank you. Thank you.